Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a movie review. This time we're going to be talking about Armistice. Uh, starring Joseph Morgan, who of course you know, plays Klaus on the Vampire Diaries and the originals. Um, uh, where do I start? <laughs> um, I really, really, really want to like this movie. Um, because... If you guys have watched, you know, just a little bit of my channel, you know how much I love Joseph Morgan as an actor. Um, you know, he's done a brilliant job in the Klaus role for years now, in my opinion. He constantly gives an Emmy-worthy performance of his acting. Um, really one of the greatest actors I've seen, and one of my favorites for sure. You know, and Klaus is a character, you know, who I put up there with the best characters on any TV show or movie. Just really well-written, really well-developed and such. Um, so when I read about this movie that Joseph Morgan did called Armistice, it sounded like the perfect chance just to see, uh, you know, Joseph Morgan just really show his acting chops, and that's, I guess that's kind of what I wanted out of it, and I got it. But that's the thing about this movie, uh, the only real praise I can give it is Joseph Morgan. Um, honestly, this is going to be my first, uh, fairly negative review of a movie in a while, I don't remember the last time I actually gave a movie a negative review, really. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm almost too easy. <laughs> uh, or maybe I just, and maybe I, I'm just uh, enjoy things too much, I don't know. But let me just see if I can go through my movie reviews real quick to see when the last negative one I did was. Yeah, probably my last negative one was one of the Resident Evil movies. <laughs> um, but other than those, I haven't really done many negative reviews in a while. And it's unfortunate that the latest one had to be this one. Um, so like I said, uh, Joseph Morgan, he does do a great job in the movie, but... Well, let me talk to you about the premise at first. The premise is actually interesting, you know, it has a lot of potential. It has the potential to be quite uh, gripping and quite uh, enthralling, really, and, and immersive. Um, like, uh, I'll read you the back of it. Uh, Joseph Morgan stars in this intense supernatural thriller as Royal Marine A.J. Budd, who finds himself trapped in a mysterious house. Forced to fight for his life against grotesque and human opponents, he must kill every day or die himself. His only glimmer of hope comes from a diary he discovers left by a former prisoner, a uh, World War I officer, played by Matt Ryan, but what dark fate befell its author. The stories of these two warriors from different eras converge in shattering fashion. They do? <laughs> Um, but that pretty much sums up uh, how I felt about the actual story in the movie. Um, it really does sound interesting. I was really excited to see Joseph Morgan involved in this type of thing. Um, but while the story does have potential, it doesn't really go anywhere, to be honest. You know, it just ends up falling really, really flat. Um, maybe not so much that, just it builds... It feels like we're waiting for something to happen, but nothing ever actually does. It just sort of just stops, and okay, that's it. Um, and, you know, a lot of the movie is Joseph Morgan's character, A.J. Budd, um, just constantly going through the cycle, you know, walking down the stairs every day, you know, seeing this uh, same sandwich on the table every day. Uh, he can shoot, you know, eventually he gets just really, really, really sick of the same thing. And then the bell rings every day and one of those creatures shows up and he has to kill it and he marks it on the wall and this that cycle over and over it's uh that's pretty much the movie right there you know once in a while they cut uh the part of him killing the creature out a little bit because we know how that kind of goes after a while um and there are some you know there are some somewhat humorous moments you know because we see him he's kind of going insane you know we see uh so it's kind of fun just to see Joseph Morgan sort of act out, uh, you know, like how he sets up his like, like this little Ford and stuff. And just because I'm such a fan of Klaus, it's funny to see, uh, you know, Klaus freak out sometimes in the sense, you know, to start cursing and stuff like that. So may I just got more of a kick out of it because I love Klaus so much, and it's different to see him not act like Klaus, you know. <laughs> um, so parts of that, parts of it like that, were kind of fun. Um, but honestly, it was boring. Uh, Joseph Morgan does get a chance to show some of his acting uh, skills in a couple parts, but he's really not given much to do either, you know, like I said, it's the same cycle over and over, and the ending to it, it, it just doesn't do anything, you know? Um, it feels like it is building something, I was at least expecting like an interesting ending or something like that, but 
pretty much he figures out that even if he kills himself, he's just going to wake up again. And eventually he does, you know, find this, like, uh, lower basement area, and he gets to, like, this door, and you see, like, all the war still going on outside and such. Um, but eventually when he goes through that, he just wakes up and sees, you know, he's kind of, like, dismembered or something, and then he just dies, I guess. And then we see another guy walk into the house, and then you hear the bell ring again. And that's kind of it. <laughs> uh, so... I don't know what they're really thinking at the ending. You know, they they didn't feel like there's any bigger meaning to it. He just dies and he fails. It's over. Uh, no, no payoff or you know his constant trials and tribulations day after day. It's just done. It's just a cycle. And it's not that I disliked him dying. It's that the ending had no impact either. It just sort of just stopped with that. Um, I just found it to be really weird. Um, like I said. Uh, there's not really much more to say about it because there's not much that goes on in the story, really. Um, the guy who played the other uh, military officer, whoever was decent as well, acting-wise, and I did like some of the practical effects on the creature from what little we really seen of it, although it was sort of more of a basic design. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about the movie. Uh, thankfully, it is kind of short. You know, it's only about like uh, 82 minutes or so. Um, I'm just really disappointed in this movie. Uh, Joseph Morgan does a great job with what he does have in the movie, um, and there are there are some interesting potential. There is some interesting potential at certain points of the story, but that's it. You know, this potential that amounts to absolutely nothing. <sighs> Not much more to say about it without getting uh, more and more repetitive. So, Lane, what you guys thought about the movie? If he saw it, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. LaCrenceWildo.com. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I'm sorry. I know this is a short review, but I don't want to say about it. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. You know, it's because it's Joseph Morgan. He does uh, live up to what I think when I was an actor. But other than that, I gotta say it was pretty bad. <laughs> kind of boring. All right. Catch you guys next time, and uh, peace.